Alright, welcome back to another Hogwarts video. Last video, we got our broom and learned a spell, a new spell from Sebastian. So now we can shoot fireballs instead of just like emitting fire from our flame, kind of like a flamethrower. That, that was about it, actually, I believe. This episode, we're going to go continue the story and meet Professor Weasley, and then who knows what's going to happen after that. Also, update on the Save Decay 2 stuff. The first episode for the second season should be coming out soon, hopefully. So, yeah, I don't have an exact date yet, but it should probably be like sometime next week or the weekend. I don't know. Gotta figure that out. But, uh, yeah, look forward to that, I guess. And then, um, oh, yeah, one more thing before we um continue playing um let me know what other games you guys want to see because generally i have no idea what to play next for you guys i'm thinking about playing atomic heart as well as doing a modded playthrough of elden ring but i'm not entirely too sure let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see but uh yeah without further ado let's get on with the game i guess I wonder, do I just have a flu flame over next to it? Hopefully. Why is she... Okay. Wait. We're going up, it looks like? I can't tell. We'll just tell we're here. To the charms room. Hopefully this does not screw me over. I don't know. Oh, oh yeah. I also changed my outfit last, like in between episodes. Nothing too drastic, indeed, but yeah. So yeah, I personally like it a lot, but who knows? Oh, wrong one. Eh. Oh, cool. I get to sit out. Wait, what? Alright. <laughs> Another cutscene. Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. And yeah, behind the. What is it called? Tapestry? Tapestry? I don't know how you. Oh, never mind. Well then, nice secret room you got there. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. It was by accident. Don't worry about it. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. Yeah, Professor. <laughs> oh boy. That's a lot of books. What oh my this god. Place? This is the womb of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, okay. where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Mm. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Is there things for me to loot here? Revelio. Oh, there's stuff over there. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco. Oh my the god. Spell. Of course, a new you spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. I mean, it's what... However spell is... What? Oh my god.
It's a slithery snake. <laughs> Why does it look like that? It looks like a fart. Splendid. Now, let's go on those chairs. Um, I mean, if you would want me. Excellent uh. work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. I want to figure out how Rebellion. to get to those chests over there, though. Where in Miss. Merlin's name is that elf? Um, hiding. Point hide and seek. Is that... Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. <sighs> Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Geek. Awesome. Yes, Professor. I'm reading this. Um, perhaps you understand a few more inches of parchment than you expected. Let me know if you want to try to meet again. Sincerely, T. Ah, how dare you use initials? Okay, can I? I wonder. Do I just have to go back here and make something disappear? Or... Nope. Not it. <sighs> Time to take the long way. Boat. Wait. Oh, dear me. Can't you keep it down? No. Some of us are trying to rest. Um. Sounds like a you problem. A chest. No, that's not a chest. I'm dumb. Okay. That's cool. I guess. Um. Aha. What I get? Um, velvet robe. Cool. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Listen, game. Can you stop using such big words? I don't. But no, not that's not helpful. You worthless pile of tin. Damn. I'm sorry he insulted you. You didn't deserve that. What? Okay. Huh. Why is there so many things interactables here? Bit offended the room thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thick damn. But kid. Ah, nice. What? Yo, that's pretty dope. Revelio. Where are those chests? Over there. Did I get that one? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Akio. Not really. You come on, just uncrouch, you dummy. Can you like come down here? Akio. That is rather infuriating. I'm here. What? Did I just? Oh my goodness! Did I just get stuck? Yeah, I got, I got stuck. I'm. Um, Alba had nothing important because I can't get it down now. That's very cool. <sighs> nice. I mean, my big brain got it stuck. Very professional. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? I don't know. We're doing it right now, though, so don't worry about it. Oh, it's all over there. Bye. What was that? Um, don't worry about it. Was that it. a golden stitch? What? 
Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> you know what, Akio. buddy? All right, you get out of the way. Come in here. What? I mean, it's going to pull it over this way. Do I have to pull this one in here? Eh. Eh. Come on. Turn. You. Akio. Kapulsa. Akio. Okay, can you come back at you? Kapulsa. Akio. Thank you. Can you no game it's not very cool. Can't climb that, that's kind of annoying. Then what was the point of even coming in here? That's stupid. Okay. I'm still a bit highly confused. What? Can't really. What? I feel like this is so much simpler than it really needs to be. What am I doing? Can I just Akio. drag it over here and open it? I can. But. Hmm. Levioso. Yeah, what if I... Eh. Oh, whoops. Was that... What? I'm... Beyond confused right now. Protego. That wrong button. Akio. Right. Hit. Oh, God. Actually, what? Wait, I think I know what to do. I need to do now. You come over this way. Come on, you're going so slow for no reason. Thank you. And then, then, and then we'd come to this. big brain. What you. Wrong button. Levioso. Bro, what? I swear to God. This is not what you're supposed to do. I'm. Oh my God, my brain. It's... Oh man. It so honestly must be so much easier than making it out to be. What am I like? What am I missing here? I don't understand. Rebellion. Okay. I don't. I don't get it. Yeah, I see you over there. But I don't know how to get to you, my good sir. Because apparently, my brain is too small. Or was it just the chest and that was it? I mean, though, if it was only the chest, why are there all this extra shit? Like, what? Makes no sense. I don't know, I don't know. I'm going to leave it be because I don't know what I'm supposed to do. More fine books. Uh my goodness. Um that 
All right, sorry, I had to check something. Uh oh, what? Uh, uh, I hope that house elf can find us in here. Bright light. Not a great idea, if you ask me. There's a flu flame in here, so we can just kind of come back here whenever we want. What? Okay, yeah, just throw shit at us, I guess. Ass. Can we? Can you go forward, please? Yeah, I see him. Can you go forward so we can talk to him? Instead of stalking him. The weirdo. Can you? I just break the game, I swear. Oh my god. Or are we supposed to continue watching him? Like, what's going on here? I think I might have broken the game. Gosh darn it. How did that happen? <sighs> oh my god. Well, I guess I'll be back, guys. Alright, welcome back, guys. Sorry about that. Um, so, they had apparently decided to up the game while I was in the middle of recording, so I had to download that real quick. But, uh, yeah, we're back pretty much where we left off, which is nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see what this is all about. Oh, hello. You gonna throw shit at me again? You ass. Stop it. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. What's up? <sighs> nice Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, yes, we Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Maybe. Indeed it is. Deke is oh. honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. Damn. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. <laughs> The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, well, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Hmm. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Interesting. Hey, you better not think of anything naughty, I swear to God. Uh. Oh boy. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. Well, uh, so it's I look spot. forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, it. and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. I don't know what that does. It but can identify all. unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Ah, okay. The desk of description used to reveal the magical properties of any other. I. Uh, my God. 
any unidentified gear that you've collected. There we go. Oh my God. Just say not unidentified gear. I don't have anything for this at the moment. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. That's nice. Hey. What? Listen, I don't even think the floor is dirty. I think it's your broom that's dirty, sir. Whatever. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. <laughs> the room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Let's go. Oh, hell yeah. What? Oh my god. Oh, you loot. Okay. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm. I think Quite I'm perceptive. Okay. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Okay. Nice. Interesting. Oh. Uh, yo. What? That's... What the fuck? Hey, what? Ooh. Wait, can I, I wish I could see how these look. Is there a difference to these, or is it just purely how they look? Hopping pods, potion stations. I don't know which one I want to do. Um, I can't. I wish I could literally just see how these will fuck. Because I kind of want to go goth, but at the same time, I'm seeing. Trying to see how it looks. Okay, you're not hoping. I want to see. Wait, what? Oh. So you can't place it in the center. All right. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I might go with the gothic one. That's there. Probably push against this wall, actually. Do you like? Center, please. I can't tell if that's centered or not. Should I just go based off of this four pattern? Like right there. I can change. I wish you. <sighs> okay, you know what? No. How do I. I need to remove this now. <laughs> How does one remove? What's it mean undo? Actually, <gasps> there we go. Oh my god. Okay, we gotta change the color on this. Ooh. Oh, so the only thing that's literally changing is the fire. I'm guessing. Yeah. We'll go with default. That actually looks quite clean. 
Bam. All right, next is what? Oh, there's a potting table. Ooh, yeah, it's nice. I wish we could go black. I don't even know where I want this. I don't. I don't want to place it here. Um. Wait, is it this way? Or is it this way? I think it's this way. Yeah, but if I place it. Oh my god. If I place it here, I'm gonna be in the way of that, and it's not gonna be aesthetically pleasing. Um. Wait, can I? Ooh. Oh my God. Okay. Well, go right there. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, um. of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Oh, that just didn't un it did undo it. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, I wanna. Okay, no, we do this one. We make this the fold. Oh, this is very annoying. All right, that's the front. You go right there. Okay, thank you. And this one, you shall be black, and then we'll rotate you like this. You're all the way against the wall. You're not. Alright, I guess that's like the best I can. Okay. What's in here? A desk of description. All right, Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. Mm. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Nice. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Listen, listen, I'll do what I want, okay? Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. That's We've boring. charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Mm. Okay. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell what? for use in the room. You're going to teach me one right, right here, right now. Oh, you have a side mission? Okay. Deke, I have a question. Can I have more than just this one room? It would be nice to have like a room on each side. That'd be nice. What? I got mail from Professor Big. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Oh, who knows? As soon as you can, I've returned from a rather unprotected trip to the Ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. It has been. I need that book, old man. But I want to learn another Transfiguration spell, not gonna lie. I mean, actually, well, actually, is it a Transfiguration spell? Altering spell? What? Okay, you know what? Yeah, we'll do permission because decorations are cool. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. I already have a bunch. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully 
outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Listen, return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have over a hundred already in my inventory. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Wait, is Professor Garlic the um herbology teacher? I can't remember. I think so. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Yeah. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. Let's go. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and <gasps> floor? I can't change the walls for us. Go. Under what? Bro, I want to change like just the color. No. Ooh, you, you. Mm. Table and seating, rugs, decorations, remove primary artwork, wall hangings. I'm just like change the color of stuff. Or can I not do that? I'm just so lost. Nothing really changes. What? Wait, you can change the size of it, actually? Wait, how big is that? How big did that make it? Why can't I not place it? Oh my god. Bro. No. You... No. Want to rotate you? I think. Oh, this is going to be very annoying. Why are you so picky? I just want to put you in the middle of the... Okay, you know what? Not perfectly centered, and that's what's annoying me. But you can't place it perfectly in the center, or else then it disappears. Wait, can I just keep conjuring these and get rid of, getting rid of them? I don't want a carpet because that just ruined it for me. Tables, seating, bunch of artwork, decorations, wall hangings. Um, listen, listen. You already have a bunch of stuff on my whatchamacallit. Um I, I can't think. My brain hurts. Really? That's it? Hey, you already have a bunch over here that I wanna get rid of. I can change the size of these. Alright, that seems fine enough. It is so bright over here. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> the only way to get it centered. Oh my eye pop. Oh my god. Can't say. Stop. S s Stop snapping. Just let me put you in the middle, please. Hopefully it's centered. I can't tell. I think it's centered. Okay. That's fine. I don't want to look at that again. That hurt. Um. We shall. Um. Using a witch? What? Not. <laughs> it's smaller. What? I'm. What? 
Okay, um, we shall put... No, don't, don't snap to it. I swear. Go in there. And we'll put the other one. Go right there. Bam! Uh-huh. I can't see anything because of this freaking mirror, bro. Okay, I don't know what picture that just was. But it's fine. Good work. Shall we move on? Sure. Even though I can't see anything. My retinas have been burned. Um any point to putting like tables and chairs yet. I'll wait until I get more um like the stuff place in here. And then we'll start decorating more because yeah. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. What? The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Okay, okay. I'm not watching anything, but all right. It's all lies. Oh, uh, didn't teach me anything. Did it all on my own. Just aim your wand at any com You might want to what? And perform the altering spell to customize it. Wait. Oh. oh my goodness. Y'all. That changed. It's only changing the wood. Oh my god. I'll buy it all. Let's pull by the current visuals and colors are all. Yeah, confirm. Thank you. Um. Thank you. Oh. Okay. It said it was going to do it to everything, but it really didn't. Did it do to those up top as well? I can change the ceiling to the top. Oh my god. Yo. Okay, can you stop spinning in circles, please? That one looks pretty clean. This is too bright for me. I guess we'll just go all black. It's not like. I guess super prominent as I was thinking it would be. Are these all black? No. Why to all alcoves? But did you even change the statue one? I wonder. I didn't do it to this stuff. Yes. Thank you. Wait, I can change even the pillars, bro. Oh no, I can't. Yeah, that is black. Can I do the floor? I can't. <laughs> you should never give me this power. That's boring. For sure. It's looking a lot more. Me, I guess. I don't know. I definitely like this. Other style of item change the color of an item, but just the size of an item. Oh my goodness gracious, lady. Fun. Do I have to? There. It's so tiny. 
Um, can I like remove it, please? Like, I would love to remove it, you know? First of all, we'll do that, and then, what's the fault? Ooh, I actually kind of like that pop of color. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Onto the balcony or the floor room. I did, I did that. Oh, now you're giving them to me? I don't know how I feel about that gothic look actually. You, you. Oh my goodness. Ooh. This one actually looks kinda cool. What would um okay. I don't even know. I don't like all the checkered stuff. Hmm. I might go with this one. I don't know. I kind of like the darker wood on... Screw it, we'll go with this one. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Awesome. Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor mm. Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. I am currently doing cool things you would not understand. <laughs> I wish I, I need to, I don't know. I might remove those. I might not. I could use this like inspiration to hit that one has to move as well. Then he has to move like, okay. Um, I shall put you like right there. We'll put you. But you like I don't know How would I want to do this? I feel like right there I guess I don't know We'll figure it out We'll figure it out later What are you What the fuck's wrong with you? Professor Weasley said I should that ask you guy. about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Um. Moonlit ambience, natural and earthy, dark and mysterious. I want to go dark mysterious. I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie. As if I'm in the forbidden forest. Ooh. Surrounded by shadows. Oh, oh sounds nice. perfect. Oh, yo, that is sick. <laughs> that that could just tie it all back together. Hmm, quite a difference. Oh, that was sick. Of course, sick. you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. I wish I could still add like small sub rooms so I can like I have like one for like decorations and whatnot and then the other one be like mainly for my you know, like utility workspace what workspaces and whatnot. Is it now expanding? It's very god. Of course it's expanding now. 
great. As soon as I start complaining about it, it's like, here we go, here you go. We have all this space. An even bigger space. Oh my god. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. So, what you're saying is, I have my own room now? Fucking bet. So it's done this. Oh, so that one will soon unlock as well. Okay, okay. And this is gonna be, this is, yeah. This is definitely gonna take a lot of time to decorate and make it how I want. So, and that will probably just happen naturally throughout, like, all the videos and whatnot. I'm probably not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and do it all now. I could do gothic walls. I don't know, I kind of like the contrast with the white though. I think it's quite nice. I might stick with the scientific walls just because it looks kind of cool. I don't want to go all gothic. What? Okay. Ooh. Scientific main ceiling, what does the gothic one look like? Ooh. Okay, okay, I'll do the ceilings real quick and then we shall continue in the story. Wait, can I do the. No, you won't let me, will you? Wait, are all the ones in here black? I wonder. They're not. How dare you. Wait, can you like look back and look at it? That's okay, okay. I don't like these windows though, I'm not gonna lie. I wonder if I could change the color for these. Of course they're not black. Why would they be black? I would, mm. Very boring. And of course I gotta change the furniture. Oh my goodness. Revelio. That's not what I want to do. Actually, wait, no, these were going to be default. Because the red's quite a nice, slight pop of color. Oh my goodness. No. Why do I have to do these ones separately? This is quite annoying. Can I just do a um, magic? Oh my god. That one. Thank you. Oh. I need to color, please. Thank you. I can change the size of these as well. Wait, wait. How big can these go? Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, no more fucking around. We shall leave. It's gonna annoy me if it's not all the same now, but at the same time, I'm already. Oh my god. 
Why do you put two different? <sighs> Pretty gothic. Why are you red? No, I want you to be deformed. You. <sighs> These people, I swear. Like, shit has got to match, bro. Red actually looks quite nice. Alright. I can't believe. Oh my god. I swear to god, if that happened again. Did I accidentally just move that closer than. I have to change it for. Oh, actually, it's quite clean here. Wait, no, it was supposed to be black. There we go. Alright. It's enough messing with this. Let's go do what we got. I forgot this is not black. It's not. Oh my god. Thank you. All right. Time to go. I should probably plant something real quick, huh? Plant bit in me. Potion station. Okay. I should probably actually make some of those. Make three. Oh my god. I have to wait. 15 seconds. Oh my god. That is going to be somewhat annoying. It was fun. Alright. So now, what's our next mission? We're gonna go do see if the rest of the egg. We could get Wingardium Leviosa and be like, um. What's her name? I forgot her name. From the movies and the book. I can't remember her name and that's going to bother me the rest of the night now. Oh my god. What? Mm. We'll go see Professor Pig. We'll do Wingardium Leviosa another time. Okay, where is this going to be taking me? All over here? Right below me. We'll teleport here then. <sighs> Bro, not gonna lie. D yes. is pretty cool. Uh, I can play. No, it's Deke. Oh my god. I can't believe I already messed up his name. I feel bad now. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, Professor, I have some news for you. I was hoping to see you. Um, okay. Not so You're back. Finally. Minister what Spavin mean, talks finally? more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't oh. listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor, so much happened while you were away. Nearly Headless Nick asked me to get some rotten roast beef from the kitchens. Rotten roast beef? Yes, I thought it was odd too. But then we took the roast beef to Sir Podmore of the Headless Hunt and- You met the Headless Hunt? 
<laughs> that must have been interesting yep. to say yes. that. And then I had to find Richard Jackdaw's head in the pumpkins so that he'd tell me about how he died. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? Sure. I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? Yeah, I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. Yes, yes we do. Who needs a book? We did it just on my... The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And the portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Hmm. Oh, Peeves. Yup. I think that's how it went. I don't remember exactly. To think it was beneath us all this time. Oh boy, what are we about to do? I'm kind of kind of scared. I'm not gonna lie. I hope we don't do some like super big brain stuff or any of that nature. Please keep it like nice and civil and calm this time. This looks promising. Alrighty. Professor. Oh boy. Why is there? I I, I want to say if it's only coming. You were here to see this. Oh, he's thinking about his wife. Oh, Professor Rackham. Move. Hello, Professor Thank Rackham. You. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. Mm -hmm. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Oh boy. Trials that you must complete on your own. Oh. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? Um, I'm trying to remember. Wait, so in Gringotts, I'm trying. Oh my God, my brain. Um, I remember two, but they weren't the one in Green Gods. It's the one I, I don't remember. So we'll do this one. I do recall seeing the memory, but I don't remember all of the details. My friend Charles and I spoke of the port key and oh, of yeah, trials we one. created for one who could see key, traces of ancient magic. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, 
bodes well. Mm. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. Makes sense. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, oh, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. Okay. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Of course I Then, do. in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Okay, we're doing a trial right Whilst now. Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? We're already going to be doing a trial? Oh my god. This episode's going to I know be that wet. tower. It's not far. What's that? Owl you may have seen it yourself. Tower or whatnot? I believe I know which the tower it is. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is Wait. that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. That was a tower that, um... During the broom class that one kid showed me. Apparently not. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. I'm just going to Hogsmeade, bro. That's where I'm going. The map chamber. Level 15, let's go. Hey, Professor Figure Tower. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Oh, man. Well, uh, bro. It's time you learned Iglesias, oh the freezing God. spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. Yo. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. What, a freezing spell? Ooh, that's definitely for next episode. But, it, bro, I wish there was, like... Oh, man, I would... Ooh. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Probably like right there. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, this is where we're going to end this episode. This one's shorter than normal, but, uh, if I would have kept going, this episode would have been one so long and two have been jam packed with so much, like just eventful things going on. Like it would just be, it, it, yeah, just be crazy. Um, but yeah, this episode, we got our room, so fuck yeah, let's go. Customize that a little bit, and we're going to keep customizing it just a little bit here and there, every episode, probably. Probably going to start most episodes in there from now on. Um, and then we came and brought the book into the maps room with Professor Fig and then now we have this big freaking map and we're gonna go be doing our first trial over at that tower or wherever that is supposedly north of Hogsmeade and then yeah that'll, that'll be for next episode we'll be learning probably the two spells that freezing one from the room um instructor and then the the Wingardium Moviosa. 
But, uh, yeah. Until next time, guys. Booga booga.